Roxboro is at a point where the mountains meet the plains, and so when you come here, you have a wonderful opportunity to view different types of wildlife and a whole variety of plants that come together here at this junction. We have a whole variety of trails here at Roxboro, and if you're looking for a short walk, you might want to consider the Willow Creek Trail. It's approximately one and a quarter miles. It starts here from the visitor center, and it's a gentle walk through the southern part of the park. It crosses the Willow Creek in two places, and it's a wonderful place to look for wildflowers in the springtime and deer in the fall. Another trail that you might want to explore here at Roxboro is the Fountain Valley Trail. It starts here at the Visitor Center and heads north through most of the rock formations. The trail is two and a quarter miles long. It's considered a gentle to moderate trail. At the far end of the trail, you'll find a stone house that was built in 1903 by Henry Purse. He was an early uh, owner and developer here in Roxboro. If you're looking for a longer hike, there are two options that you might want to consider. The first being the South Rim Trail, which takes you up on the high point to the south of the Visitor Center. That trail is three miles. It's a loop trail. Uh, it takes you through some beautiful parts of the park where you see rock formations, you see views of Denver. It gives you a real sort of uh, away from it all experience. Another option you might want to consider is the hike to the summit of Carpenter Peak. The trip is 6.4 miles round trip. The hike to Carpenter Peak takes you to the highest point in the park, which is at 7,280 feet. And along the way, you'll go through uh, scrub oak, you'll go through stands of aspen, and finally reach the rocky summit of the peak. Two of the trails in the park, the Willow Creek Trail and the Fountain Valley Trail, do have self-guiding brochures that are keyed to numbered posts along the way. And we would encourage you to stop at the visitor center and pick up a brochure and take it out with you. All of the trails in Roxboro are what we consider soft surface. They're gravel trails. We do not have any asphalt or cement trails in the park. The Fountain Valley Trail is one that has a surface that will accommodate people who want to take uh, children in strollers or persons who might be in wheelchairs. The park is open 365 days a year and in the winter time uh, you can have a wonderful experience here. If there's snow on the ground we encourage people to cross-country ski or snowshoeing is a hobby that's now gaining lots and lots of enthusiasts and uh, an activity we love to support here. If it's not snowing, you can still have a wonderful winter hike and enjoy being in the out of doors. We're close. Uh, it's not like you have to prepare for a full day outing to come to Roxboro and enjoy the winter. Roxboro is set aside as a state natural area and we manage this park a little bit differently than some. We ask that people stay on the trails. We ask that you do not bring family pets to this park. People hike or cross-country ski or snowshoe here. We do not have bike trails or horseback trails as such. It's a, a foot-only type park. Roxboro State Park up here in the northwest corner of Douglas County is an extraordinary place. It has red sandstone rocks, it has lots of wildflowers, and the Fountain Valley Trail, which is about a two and a quarter mile loop, goes down through the red rock formations and catches a lot of wildflowers along the way. In addition, we have a slightly longer loop, which goes up towards the south, a little more strenuous, but a lot more wildflowers along it, and the views are spectacular. And I'd like to invite everyone to come see this wonderful place called Roxboro State Park, right in their own corner of the metro area. Um, the season begins in May, it tops in June, but the wildflowers just keep going until Jack Frost gets them.